we will take a look at how the results have changed uh, as we have changed the mesh a close order fluent and I will go back to the project page and I'll right click on results and say refresh that'll bring in the new results into the post processor um, so all the plots will be updated with the new new data now there's a handy facility where you can also drag the solution on the previous mesh to the results and say refresh and that way I can do a head-to-head -head comparison between you know say the velocity profile on the original mesh and the new mesh and then start the post processor I can look at the contours on the two meshes side by side um, so for instance if I want to take a look at the velocity magnitude contours and I'll look along Z here okay so that's on mesh 2 and if I wanted to compare this to the view in mesh 1 so what I'll do is I'll switch to two side-by-side -side viewports and I'll say don't synchronize visibility but synchronize the camera so you'll get the same view and if I look along Z here, by, I just typed in Z. So I'm looking along Z for both meshes. And if I click on this viewport, then that viewport gets activated. And on the, there also I want the velocity magnitude contours, but that's on mesh one. And this is on mesh two. And we can see that, you know, the results are very similar. I need to, I probably want to go and, you know, change the the legend and so on and you can change the ranges um, but that's one way you know that's a nice way to to look at contours on two meshes side by side and the other thing I want to do is to see how my velocity profile at the outlet has changed on refining the mesh so I can double click on that so in so you know I can go between the 3d viewer and the chart viewer and so this is very nice that it added the um, the refined mesh result. And so you can see that, you know, as the, the blue, the red is the is the new result. And you see it's moved closer to the analytical solution. And, you know, I want to go and ch change the legend on there. I'll, I'll let you do that. So that's that's a check you know on the discretization error but that's only in the fully developed region one should also check you know what the uh, what is the difference uh, for the say the velocity profile at the center line and the pressure along the center line so that you know you're looking at a view along the pipe too rather than just in the fully developed region and I'll let you do that um, so that's you know that's uh, a key element of verification and I will close CFD post and I will say file save to save the project and at this point you might also want to say file archive and I will save it in the WBPZ format and I'll overwrite it and I want to archive what's in user underscore files too because it has a contour plots and so on. And that's something, you know, so you have everything in that WBPZ file.